I could do a Liverpoolian accent very well. So like, you're all right, mate, how's it going? Like, I'm having a boss time in this villa. It's absolutely amazing. Hi guys, I'm Nathan. I am 27 plus three, and you might know me from Geordie Shaw. I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> I think I'm single because I am hard work, I'm annoying, I demand a lot of attention, and I have the tendency to get the ick very fast, so I cut a lot of people off before I even get into a relationship. In a partner, <laughs> I've got a long list of things. I want them to be able to control this. I want them to be able to put me in my place. I want them to be able to make me feel secure, but at the same time, I want to have a best friend and they need to have drive motivation to keep me motivated and also be very patient. I can't remember specifically, but when boys are cheeky, but it's charming and they make me laugh, and it's very flirtatious, straight away, you've won, you've won, you've got me, and then you probably get rid of me. There's definitely one ex that I'm really hoping turns up because for me, there's still feelings there. And I think I want to pursue that and see if it can turn into a relationship because I think it could definitely turn into a love. The special ex that I'm hoping to turn up is called Declan, because I really do like him. <laughs> oh God, I do like him a lot. There's one ex that I am dreading turning up just because of the way things ended and I haven't seen him in so long. It, I think it'd just be bizarre for him to be here. And then there's another ex, Tommy, which it wouldn't surprise me if he turned up because the boy is everywhere. And I'm a bit worried if he does turn up because he has a tendency to bring drama. <laughs> to be very honest, I've had a lot of embarrassing dates. Um, a lot. I think. Being drunk on a date is sometimes embarrassing because I'm a mess. I farted really loudly on a date before. That didn't go down too well. I've also nearly been sick on a date, actually. Actually sick on the person. That didn't go down well either. That's probably why I am single. But I am a good person to date, so if there's any single hot boys watching this, and if it doesn't go well here in the villa, I am looking for love. One of the worst dates I've ever been on, the guy actually didn't look anything like he did in his pictures, which that doesn't bother me because if you're going to catfish, fair enough, at least you had the balls to turn up. He didn't stand me up, so well done to you. But he was, his personality was in person was nothing like what he'd been texting me. So it's basically, and actually now when I think about it, did I go on a date with a different person? Maybe I went on a date with a random person, the other person just ghosted me. <laughs> I don't know. So my worst habit is that I overthink and overplay situations in my head to the point where I think the scenario is real and then I get upset and I act out when it didn't actually happen. I have a tendency to do that quite a lot. I don't actually use chat up lines. I don't think I've ever chatted anyone up. And I know that sounds quite cocky and arrogant, but it does actually sound cocky and arrogant, but I get chatted up. I have this thing where I won't, even if I fancy someone, I won't go over and tell them. I wait till they come over to me, or hope they do. And nine times out of ten, they don't. That's why I'm here. Actually, one of my talents is I'm very good at doing accents. I could do a Liverpoolian accent very well. So, like, you're right, mate. How's it going? Like, I'm having a f boss time in this villa. It's absolutely amazing. I can also do Australian, which is pretty all right. Some people don't think it's actually that good. The one of the guys in there thinks it's a bit. Shit. And then South African. That's all I've got for you, right there. Safe African.